Hi, baby. There you go. Yeah. Little sweetheart. Got some we had an ad in the newspaper. We had an ad on Craigslist. We put out 100 flyers. I didn't give up hope. And we've had four people looking, walking the streets. If you've ever lost a beloved dog, you're shaking, me, darling. Me too. Aww. Then you probably understand something about what yeah. Lois Dickerson is feeling right now. We call that out to her hundreds of times. G G G G. I didn't dare get too upset because I wanted to live till I found her. <laughs> I was so worried she wouldn't find anything to eat. So how about it? Do you recognize this face? These eyes? Those ears? Well, someone does. Scratch that. Something does. And it's not a dog license or a microchip. Finding Rover is a facial recognition application. You heard her right. Facial recognition for dogs. And if you're wondering exactly what it means when we talk about a dog's face, here's how it works. Grab that circle and put it over that eye. The application records the geometry of a dog's features, ratios of distances between the dog's eyes and muzzle. When a lost dog comes into the pound, it compares the numbers with the numbers from a photo you've uploaded. Instead of people looking for their dogs, yeah, got the knot in the stomach. This is computers looking at dogs and telling people who they might belong to. All you need is the right picture. You know, I've taken lots and lots of pictures of these dogs. The only thing I take pictures of flowers and dogs. <laughs>as part of intake at the Napa County Animal Shelter, Good girl. every dog sits. Sit, can you sit? Sits for a portrait, so their fuzzy mugs can be compared to all the lost dogs in the database. It works best if you can get a picture of the pooch straight on. No profiles, but that can be a bit tricky. Say hi. The app doesn't fetch cats, but to make sure you can get a picture of a dog straight on, it does have a bark built right in. There's no charge to use the app. All it will cost you is a little time, and you'll have to enter a few personal details when you register. And you can type in something about the dog. The Napa County Animal Shelter is the first in Northern California to use Finding Rover, but anyone can, and the more users, the better it works. I'm gonna post it on the Finding Rover. Well, this little boy, my son found him roaming the streets in Napa, and so far no one's claimed him, and also Finding Rover, I put him on Finding Rover. I have that app for my dogs. I have them all registered on Finding Ro Rover. It's not meant to replace a microchip. It's meant to add to it, to be another solution to a terrible everyday problem. So these two things are great tools. Great. To help us yeah. get your dogs yeah. back to you. We had over 600 redemptions last year, um, but that still is only hovering around the 50% mark, and we really want to increase that. More redemption. You quit shaking, honey. More happy endings. These two, they're, they're buddies. Hopefully more wagging and less whining in wine country.